so I'm kind of just going on a ramble here about just MK. Viewing season 5 of Lego Monkey Kid, you really pick up on development mainly throughout the main character being MK himself. In season 1, you see MK as a more loving, fun, just regular guy. He doesn't have much to him other than he has the same powers of Monkey King, no big deal. But when it comes to later seasons, that's when development and just focus on who you are as a character goes into effect, which kind of explores of who this basic noodle delivery boy actually is and why he is the way he is, why he got picked out of Wukong's successor. And as you see throughout the seasons, MK kind of struggles with himself. He loves his friends and he wants to protect them. He didn't sign up for the role of being everyone's protector and that kind of goes to making him flawed and making that mainly his responsibility, being everyone's protector and not really focusing on himself, which you can see causes a bunch of doubt, stress, and just pushing everything off as if it's fine, including his like battles with Azure, Macaque, the Lady Bone Demon, Spider Queen, and so on. As we go into development within these seasons, you can see he is more than what he is, being the harbinger of chaos, and that kind of sets a bigger boundary for who he is, and he doesn't want to be what he's created to be. And doing so, even if he knows what he is, when everyone knows who he is and what he is, basically, he doesn't want to live through that because he only views it as one bad thing because everyone tells him it's one bad thing. And so that kind of brings a decline in his own well-being and what he does to meet his own goals. MK in season 5, spoilers, this whole video spoilers, but you realize that MK is willing to kill himself to save everyone that he loves. And that is a very important detail when it comes to his character. Because since he didn't sign up for being a protector, a successor, and just someone higher up, he just wants to be normal. There's so many things he doesn't know, and he reads into destiny, which kind of pushes him on a limbo. And honestly, he just doesn't know what to do with himself or his newfound abilities later on. MK struggles with his well-being and acceptance of who he is because of that one bad thing he sees himself as. What I love about season 4 and 5 especially, and just MK's character in general, is showing how much he fights himself. It's shown in a beautiful way, of course, through projection of his demon form and his human form, because there are sides that people don't like about themselves, and that is shown through struggles. You doubt yourself, you suffer physically and mentally for who you are as a person. But at the end of the day, he just can't accept that even with my true form, even with my demons, I am still a bad person. And MK has to struggle through that causing mental and physical flaws throughout his journey of being the hero. 
I just enjoy seeing his development and just how much it takes just to accept yourself. He's had this mental battle of figuring out who he was and it was not resolved in the same season. It was not resolved just by the power of friendship. He still struggles and it's getting worse. He knows he has a support system. He has friends that care about him and a mentor that kind of just takes it easy on him. But at the end of the day, he isn't happy with himself. And that's kind of what I enjoy because of the fact that he isn't healed just because he's a hero, just because he's just a bigger figure. He is still struggling even after season five ended. I really just hope that they progress in showing MK and his story because his story isn't over. And even if he thought it was the end, there's still more to come and I can't wait just to see that.